today I'm pretty excited. I'm building a no dig bed. So I was trying to find a spot in my garden that wouldn't flood. So this area right here is kind of like elevated. So if it rains a lot, the water will come down. So it's a little slanted. I wasn't for sure if I was gonna till my native soil. So I was contemplating on doing it because I have clay soil. So I thought maybe if I mix it around a little bit and add a little bit of compost, maybe some fertilizer, maybe that will benefit uh, the ground. But then I just wanna try just how, you know, what the name says. It's a no dig bed, no disturbing the soil, just adding some cardboard on top of it and some um, compost. So this is how I'm doing it. And the reason why I am adding some wood is because of the, my space. So this is a very narrow part of the garden and I have uh, stepping stones next to it. So if I don't add any wood, to contain my compost it will be spilling all over the place so i'm trying to keep it in one spot so i would think that it's kind of more like a hybrid um no dig bed um so yeah we'll see how it goes and at the end of the day if it doesn't work out or my plants don't like it i mean i tried i will learn from it and i can add more wood on top of it make it higher and make a um, just a raised bed. So either way, um, you know, whatever happens, I will end up with something, <laughs> another bed to grow veggies. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. So right now, um, I just added some cardboard. So the cardboard that I'm adding is just plain cardboard, just some boxes that I got you know amazon and the mail and stuff like that so try to avoid using cardboard that is shiny um and make sure that you remove all of the tape and all the stickers and all the stuff so make sure that it's just the cardboard that you're adding to your bed so once you have all your cardboard make sure that you're covering your whole ground so you want to smother your grass depending on what you have underneath it. Um, yeah, so make sure that there is no grass, that you cannot see any grass uh, when you look at the spot that you chose to build your, your bed. So I did that. Now I'm just gonna soak it. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the compost that I'm using because I'm adding it to my bed and I can see the difference and I don't want you to think that I'm adding some other stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one bag of each on my rice bed so you can see the difference between all of them. And you know, but when, when we talk about prices, this one right here is about a dollar 90 I'm gonna say I don't remember the exact amount but it was about a dollar 90 a little bit less than two bucks and the black cow manure is 528 a little bit less than six dollars a bag and this one was two dollars 90 something less than three dollars another thing that I noticed is that they all have the same blend a 555 
Okay, so this is the black cow manure. As you can see, it's darker, it looks richer, it doesn't have that many wood chips, there's no rocks, no sand. It looks just overall, I think, a better quality for a store-bought um, cow manure. So I really like this one. This is my favorite one. Now, on the next one, this is the Timberline Cow Manure and Compost. Now, this is my least favorite one from them all. It's very sandy. There is rocks in it, wood chips, just everything, which is not bad if you're trying to mix it with like clay soil so you can have better drainage. You know, if you want to improve your clay soil, then it's it's great for it. But when you're just trying to grow veggies directly in it, for what I needed, I don't think it's the best one. So yeah, definitely, I'm not impressed by this one at all. Because look at that, those are some big stones. And it looks like pure sand to me. So I don't like that. Now... here with the earth grow organic hummus and manure so this was the cheapest one and i honestly i'm not too mad about it it has a lot of wood chips in it um but the smell it smells like it should you know like 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 poop <laughs> like cow poop so i really like it but it's not my favorite one but i don't think it's too bad for the price um so yeah that is it, it doesn't have any sand in it, it there is no rocks, all it is is just wood chips in it. That would be the only thing. And I mean, the wood chips should break down with time. And I'm gonna tell you, from all these three, the flies are loving this stuff. They're all over it, so that should say something. Okay, so now I'm just gonna spread all of the compost around. So you need about six inches deep with uh, compost. And it should take about eight weeks for the cardboard to break down. You can start already planting in your, in your no dig bed. You can already add your veggies if you want to. I'm gonna wait because I want this bed for um, things, vegetables that take longer to grow. Like garlic, I wanna try and grow some artichokes, that'd be fun. So things like that that take a little bit longer, I wanna use this bed for. So it should take about eight weeks for the cardboard to break down. But yeah, and Another thing is if you do till your native soil before, you know, adding your, your cardboard and your compost on top of it, I will say give it a few weeks to settle down. So you can give it even a week at the most just for the soil to press down and that way your plants don't get suffocated that way your roots don't get damaged so yeah i will give it at least one to two weeks for the soil to settle down but yeah so from here i'm just going to water you can water depending on depending on how your weather is like right now we haven't got that much rain so i'll be watering it every other day just to keep the compost moist that will uh, help the cardboard to um, break down but if you have rain a lot or you know you don't have to water it just let it be and it will do its own thing but yeah i think that is it now we just water and and wait I'm really excited to try and grow um, artichokes. I think it's gonna be fun to see how I do with them. 
you can water as you go to you can put a layer of compost water and then add another layer of compost and then water it's really up to you but i really hope that you found this video helpful thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye